everyone, it's Ali. Thanks so much for joining me today for a brand new series on my channel that I really hope you're all gonna enjoy. Five products, five cards really does what it says on the tin. In each episode, I'm gonna pull out five products from my stash and use them to make five different cards. My aim is to show that you do not need to spend hundreds or thousands on crafty products to create fun cards that you really love to give away. For the very first episode in this series, I really wanted to use these fun fast food stickers that I've had in my stash for a while. So this was my starting point for choosing out my products to use. I'd never used this stamp set before either, which is a very similar theme. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to pull this out and use it alongside my stickers. And then for cardstock, I decided to not go for a pattern paper and I went for this premium textured cardstock pack from Dovecraft. There's a whole bunch of different colors in here and they're all like quite thick cardstock with a little nice texture on. So I thought that was a nice one to use from my stash. For a die set, I've pulled out this Spellbinders Nestability set, which is an unusual shape. I've not used this one before on any cards. So I thought it'd be fun to play with and see what kind of looks I can get with it. And then the very last thing to pull out the gold in the sticker set is this embossing powder from Wow Embossing. I've got so many embossing powders and this was one that I don't think I've ever used. So I thought I'd give it a go on some of these cards. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the five different cards that I made and the full process of each of them. I'll give you a few tips and tricks along the way, but they're all pretty straightforward. So the very first card I thought I'd start with kind of stripe vibe so I've cut a bunch of different stripes from the colored cardstock and I'm going to use this to make a background I wanted to do like a pizza theme so I've pulled out some colors that kind of make sense for a pizza like red for the sauce yellow for the cheese green is kind of weird for a pizza but on the pizza sticker in this set there is like little green I don't know maybe they're uh, basil or chives or something. I don't know why I'd have chives on pizza. That was a bit of a weird combination. So I'm going to stick all of these down onto a piece of white cardstock that's just a scrap that I had laying around on the desk. And then I'm going to use my layering dies to cut the background um, panel for the card. I'm really sorry if this voiceover is super chaotic. Usually I've been um, scripting my voiceovers, but I didn't really feel like scripting them today. So you're getting full unfiltered brain all over the place Ali this afternoon <laughs> I've been putting off doing the voiceover for this video for ages and I just needed to like sit down and record it so here we go I've just stamped the sentiment but first pizza which I thought was the perfect sentiment to go with the pizza stickers I really like how this little background turned out it looks it looks really fun and there's no need to make sure all your strips are the same width or anything I think that you know that just looks even better there's no sort of pattern that I've gone for there I just you know just keep it real keep it a little bit chaotic I thought it did need something a little extra so I just added a black strip underneath directly onto the card base and that's our very first card done it's nice and simple but the striped die cut really gives it a little bit of you know something a little bit different and those stickers just look really cute on there on to card number two and we're going to start with a red background panel I'm going to make my own pattern paper what I'm going to do is stamp the I think this is a ketchup bottle um, all over the red cardstock using Versamark ink. I've obviously de-staticed the card there with my anti-static powder bag um, and I'm just going to cover the whole thing. I was originally just going to do like a strip across the middle but then I thought no I'm just going to cover the whole card and then I'm putting my embossing powder all over that and then I'm shaking off the excess. So this makes a really really easy background that just looks stunning. The embossing glitter just looks brilliant on on this card um embossing glitters do work better when you use more of like a chunky um stamp so i wouldn't use that on a super skinny outline stamp but this one just worked perfectly there was just the right level of detail then i've got another die cut here using the smallest die in my nesting set and i'm just stamping the sentiment fries before guys to go on this one because we've got i mean we've got a ketchup now we've got our fries and then i'm just going to mount this on i think i use a little bit of um, fun foam here. I've actually run out of foam tape. If anybody remembers my video where I did my last craft supply haul, um, I said I wasn't buying any craft supplies for the whole year. Well, I ran out of foam tape ages ago, so I've just happened to be using like bits of scrap card stock or like bits of fun foam. And it's been fine. Like I've just been using up my fun foam. So that's the second card finished. Um, I think this is really cute. I love glitter. I think without the glitter, this card would be kind of boring, but actually it elevates it. Um, something a little bit more interesting and I think this is such a fun one 
to send to like if your friend broke up with her boyfriend um yeah or was having like a tough time in her love life <laughs> just to cheer up so on to card number three and this time i thought let's make a big slice of pizza so you don't need to have dies to make shapes of things in card making um i just cut this piece of pizza freehand it is a little bit chaotic and crazy but you know what that is that's the charm and that is the charm of this card is that the pizza is a little bit weird <laughs> so i've cut the pizza slice base from beige colored cardstock then i've added the cheese and a little strip for the marinara sauce there is a lot of cheese on this pizza um but personally that's how i prefer my pizza i love cheese i'll have cheese on almost anything <laughs> so the more cheese the better and then I'm going to make some pepperoni slices so I've used a darker burgundy colored cardstock to cut a big circle and then I've used two different size hole punches to punch lots of little circles from some red cardstock and then I'm going to add a little bit of orange in the minute as well um before I did this I did look up how pepperoni looks on the internet and I kind of looked at the pictures and thought right how am I going to make this just from like little bits of cardstock and this was the closest I could think um but I actually, I actually really like how they came out. Like they're, they're not, they're not perfect, but they're really fun. Um, this would be a really cool card to do. Like if you've got little children or grandchildren that you want to kind of do card making with, this is the kind of thing that is perfect for them to do because they can learn like the fine motor skills with the hole punches and the scissors. Um, and you know, you can make it along with them. It's really easy to do. And you can teach them about shapes and colors and everything. And there's loads of different foods that you could do with this technique. I mean, you could do like spaghetti and meatballs. That would be really fun. I'm um, getting a little bit carried away. So I've finished my pepperonis now and I'm going to stick these onto my pizza. Um, there's going to be some bits that hang over the edge. So what I'm going to do is cut the edges off and then stick those leftover pieces elsewhere on the pizza. I do this all the time when I've got like things hanging off the side of my card because it means that you waste less um, and you have to make less you know, make less pieces I only had to make what four pepperonis and I covered the whole slice of pizza so there you go hardly any of it goes in the bin the last thing I thought this needed was like a little sort of you know when you put pizza in the oven and it's kind of got a more cooked crispy crust I thought that's what this pizza is missing so that's what I did I made a little dark crispy crust uh, and that's my slice of pizza done so I just need to make my background so I was figuring out where I was going to put my sentiment I decided to put it in the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to heat emboss this but first pizza sentiment I'm also going to add this pizza stamp and I'm going to heat emboss that as well on the background just to sort of make it a little bit more interesting and add a bit of extra detail you can't actually see that many of the pizzas or the hearts um, once I put the pizza on top but you can see enough of them that it was worth doing. <laughs> um, I just thought that was, it was really fun and I just wanted to add more glitter. I mean, who doesn't want to add more glitter to their card? I'm loving doing this voiceover without a script, you know. I'm just going completely off -piste. Um, I hope you guys like this style of voiceover. Let me know if you do in the comments. Um, I do like the voiceovers where I've scripted them, but today I was just, just not feeling it. I've not been feeling it. Um, I've not been putting out videos recently. I've been enjoying the weather. I have been doing gardening and I've just been like chilling out. I've had a stressful couple of months and uh, I need to take a little bit of time off. So thank you for everybody who has stuck around during that time. This is card number three all finished. We are on card number three, aren't we? I think I've kind of lost count. Um, <laughs> um, I really like this one. I love the pizza. I think it's really, really fun. Um, and I think, imagine somebody receiving that in the mail. They would love it. So we're on to card number four now. And I'm going to use some of the like leftover scraps. So I don't have like loads of pieces hanging around. Um, I'm going to cut some little panels and these are going to go, these are going to be like form the main layout of my card. So I'm cutting panels. They're very, very small panels, admittedly. Um, and then I've also cut another like a matting layer to go behind them, which is just like, um, I think this is an eighth of an inch larger. And I'm just mixing up the colours so there's a little bit of contrast here each of these panels i'm going to use to put a sticker or a stamp on top so here you can see the basic layout of the card here um i've chosen the blue red brown and cream because i wanted to do like a cola themed card and a lot of the cola stickers in this set are like red and blue so i thought you know perfect i'm gonna add all my little panels onto their mats with my atg gun 
Um, I have to say about the ATG gun, I don't know if you guys have one, but this is like the best thing that I've ever added to my craft room. Apart from my memory foam floor mat, which is the, that is probably the best thing. <laughs> Um, I have a standing desk and it used to kill my neck and my back but since I've got that memory foam mat for the floor oh my god it's like a complete game changer <laughs> um, so I've added some of my cola stickers onto my my mini panels now and I'm just gonna figure out where I'm gonna put my sentiment and where I'm gonna put my stamp so you can see I'm gonna add the cola stamp and the little drink stamp there Um, I decided to mount my sentiment onto a mat as well just to kind of bring it all together um i did get a bit tired of the sentiments in the stamp set that i'd pulled out um because there were only a couple so i did pull out another couple of clearly besotted stamp sets that kind of went with the kind of theme and i did stamp a few of those out usually if i stamp some sentiments i'll do a load at once and then i'll just put them in my little sentiments bag and then i can use them on future projects because by the time i've got all the stuff out is you know i may as well stamp you know like 10 if i if i need one i may as well stamp 10 because it takes barely any more time um that does mean that i end up with loads of sentiments to use but that that i don't think that's a bad thing <laughs> so i've just heat embossed those stamps onto the little layers and then the last thing i'm going to do is add a sort of swirly background strip behind all of these panels just to add a little bit more interest to my card so that's going on there and then I'll trim the excess off the edges with my trusty pair of crafters companion non-stick scissors I've been loving these you can cut anything with them and they never get sticky um which is what I look for in a pair of scissors to be quite honest I was just trying to figure out how to lay out my little panels on the card I decided they look better sort of offset so that's how I did them in the end and I'm just going to stick these again with my ATG gun um, and then that is going to be the end of this card. The one thing I think I do add one more sentiment because I decided it needed an extra one. Um, so that's going to go in the top right up there and it's just going to get matted on a piece of brown cardstock just so it matches the other sentiment. I feel like if you add mats and layers onto a card, you need to add them to all the elements. So. I wouldn't normally do mats and layers and then not add mats and layers to my sentiments because I feel like it looks a bit strange. Obviously, if you like that look, then that's fine. It's just what, what I decide to do. And sometimes I don't use mats and layers at all. You'll see on lots of my cards that I don't do that, but sometimes I do like it. So that's that. That's card number four. Now on to card number five. This one, I was really feeling like it's retro vibe and I wanted to use lots of these shapes from the nesting die set. Um, I also picked out these colours because I wanted to do like a popcorn themed card and you are going to be amazed when you see what I did for the sentiment for this card. Well, I hope you're going to be amazed because I thought I just felt like an absolute genius when I did this. <laughs> I really wanted to do a popcorn card but I couldn't find any popcorn sentiments like related sentiments in my stash. So um, what I did was I used this pop, this this popcorn stamp which said pop on it and then I got some sentiments, one that said to my and then one that said star. So now on the card, it says to my pop star, which I mean, not to blow my own trumpet, but I think that was absolute stroke of genius. <laughs> I hope you guys agree as well. But I'm joking, by the way, I don't think I'm a genius, but I was impressed with my ingenuity of picking out a sentiment to go with my popcorn. So I've got these two popcorn stickers that are going to go in the top left and the bottom right. And I'm just kind of building up the layers of die cuts underneath because I kind of I didn't really know how the card layout was going to be but I sort of knew the general vibe I was going for so I'm building up the background first and then I'm going to add those two on top at the end I think originally I do put them in the wrong place I have to peel them up again but the great thing about ATG tape is that you can just peel it off and stick it back down it's great you've got you know a little bit of wiggle room because it's not super super sticky so I'm going to use up try and use up all of the the pieces that I've got on the desk and try to sort of mix up the colors so there was not too many of the same color next to each other just so we have a little bit of extra contrast and then for my sentiment I'm going to add some fun foam to pop it up a little bit and then I'll add my my tiny little sentiments so it says to my pop star which is so cute I think this would be great for somebody who likes popcorn but also great for somebody who's into music because you know it's a fun little pun I do like a pun um <laughs> big fan of puns 
<laughs> so that is card number five. Really like this one. I think it was really, really cute. And that's all the cards for this video. So let's just have a little recap of all the cards that we made. Don't forget to give this video a like before you leave and subscribe to my channel if you're new because I would love to have you here. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.